Now, a lovely surprise, a familiar face to watch dog viewers. It's my old television daughter. <laughs> it's Alice. Welcome back. Bizarrely, I look older than you now. No, How you don't. Well, happen? a bit of work done, you know, Alice. No. Um, now, it's 11 years. Can you believe that? I know. Yeah. Some might say if I'd murdered you, I'd be out by now. <laughs> you would, Alice, but the thought never crossed your mind. <laughs> right, Alice has not only been doing loads of television, she has become a mum with twins who I see in the hairdressers. They're completely gorgeous. Oh, huh? Look at them, queuing well, all over again. the country. Phoebe on the left, Dora on the right. And they're now... They were seven last week. Quite fantastic. my best production. No, they're really wonderful. Thank OK, you, um, you're an expert. I on... am. Yes. I'm an expert on nappies. And you're a perfect mother. Well, we all, Annie. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. OK, I... and that's why we sent you to investigate the world of nappies. You did. Thank you for this leaky <laughs> story. I've been looking into Pampers, who, as you know, Grandma, are one of the leading brands, and they brought out a new design in their Active Fit nappy, um, which they say is a better design because there's less material, so it's better for the environment, and also it's lighter, but... Two little problems here. One is that the parents actually didn't want to change and they don't like the new design. And secondly, they didn't actually tell the parents on the outside of the packet that anything was changing. Having a good nappy means I can enjoy being a dad. I can enjoy time with Amy without the hassle, without having to worry about leaks. As a parent, it makes me feel happy. It means she's enjoying herself. I'm happy if she's happy. If you've had kids, you'll know how big a part nappies play in life. When I had my twins, I worked out I was going through 2,200 of them a year. Once you find your favourite brand, the one that suits, you stick to it. An essential piece of kit for any parent, but what happens when they let you down and you end up in deep? Something you just don't want to happen. In the last two months, dozens of parents have contacted Watchdog to complain about Pampers Active Fit nappies. Last week, I went to meet some of them. Who wants to start? Sue, tell me. We tried all supermarket brands and uh, branded brands, and we settled with Pampers for months and months and months. Sue and husband Shaz were happy with Pampers Active Fit until they bought two bumper boxes in March and realised something was quite different. Within an hour of the new nappy being on, Amy had leaked at the back. And practically every other nappy was like that. So what did you think? Do you think I'm going mad or my daughter is suddenly, Amy's suddenly like weeing like she's no. never weed before? We've... Or you immediately thought, hey, we've yeah. got a different nappy here. A different nappy. Tell me about your Pampers experience with Poppy. Come here, Pops. Got them home, picked it up to change her, and I thought I had a def defective packet. Oh, there was no stuffing up the back. So I thought maybe there was something wrong with them. So I pulled all the nappies out of one packet, and they were all the same. So I had to change her, so I put one on her. Well, a couple of hours later, she was wet. The nappy hangs really low when it gets fuller, and then it just trickles down her leg. So we end up with wet legs, socks, clothes, trousers, anything she's got on. We asked some families to try the new nappies and they couldn't see a problem. But with so many mums adamant there is, it's time for a closer look. Now, excuse me young ladies, could you pass me the nappies please? We want to have a little look at these. Come here Poppy, you can help me. And now, tell me, these are two packets of Active Fit. One of them, I'm reliably informed, has the new nappies in. Can you tell? Oh, it's exactly the same. Same mother, same baby, same weight. But let's get them open. Here we go. Amy, come on, let's have a look. OK, here's one. That feels like they always used to. Let's try the rip strip. Oh, yeah, big difference, actually. This is, mu this is padded up the back, and this one isn't. So that's the problem. There's nothing on the packaging to tell you. You go out and buy what you think's a normal product and you get it home, you feel deceived and cheated. Nothing on the outside at all. In fact, the only clue you have that the nappies have changed is a small purple leaflet tucked inside asking for feedback. Marketing whiz Chris Arnold can see why Pampers customers are furious. It seems a very odd way to do it because, you know, mothers and babies have a strong trust in brands and you cannot damage that trust whatsoever. So by putting something new into the box without telling them is, is a complete breach of trust. Usually, I mean, if you've got a new product, you want to sing and dance about it, you want to tell everybody it's wonderful, and you also need to hype it up because people don't like change, so you need to prepare them for change. Uh, but doing this kind of thing just seems completely balmy. 
It's not just parents here in the UK who are complaining about design changes. At the end of last year, the company introduced American customers to the new Cruiser nappy. Although there are some differences between this and the UK's active fit nappy, in levels of absorbent padding and fragrance, fundamentally they're made the same way, using the same materials. Whoa, this new Cruiser nappy is causing a complete stink. If I go on this Facebook site, there's more than 8,000 people campaigning against it, and it's even made it to the news. Wendy Watkins has always used Pampers. That's because US customers aren't just complaining about leaks. Some claim the nappies have given their babies a rash. There were times I would change her diaper and she would scratch and scratch until she was bleeding. The US Consumer Product Safety Commission has now launched an investigation into the redesigned American nappy. Pampers deny it causes rashes and have made this video featuring a doctor who they say agrees with them. Nappy rash is an extremely uh, common condition. According to the NHS website, it affects about a third of all babies at any one time. And in about 10% of those, it will be severe enough that parents would consider taking them to their GP. Uh, nappy rash is caused by the direct irritating effect of faeces and urine on the baby's skin. And despite the name, it has absolutely nothing to do with nappies. Despite this, all the angst across the pond has got mums in the UK worried too. And the parents we've spoken to still can't understand why Pampers changed the design of their nappy without telling them. 